Hello! As Halloween is upon us, I thought I'd do a little something on that subject. Let's start off with some Halloween facts and myths. Because the movie Halloween back in 1978 was on such a tight budget, they had to use the cheapest mask they could find for the character of Michael Myers, and that turned out to be a William Shatner Star Trek mask. They modified it a bit, sprayed it, painted it white, and made it a bit scarier. Shatner initially didn't know the mask was in his likeness, and when he found out years later, apparently he was honoured. While the cheapo slasher film went on to take $70 million at the worldwide box office, it was more than 200 times its budget, making it the most profitable film ever to feature William Shatner's face, beating even Star Trek II. Stephen Clark holds the world record for the fastest pumpkin carving time of 24.03 seconds, smashing his previous record of 54.72 seconds. Note that this is the record for carving pumpkins, not smashing pumpkins, who sound very different. The word witch comes from the Old English wicca, meaning wise woman. In fact, Wiccan were highly respected people at one time, and according to tradition, if a man wears his clothes inside out and then walks backwards on Halloween, he will see a witch at midnight. Though it'll probably be just a wise woman telling him he looks stupid like that. Police in Denver recently warned parents about the prospect of pot-infused candy or razor blades and sweets. This is just the latest incidence of such unfounded concerns. In fact, there's little, if any, evidence that this has ever happened. Besides, do you know how much marijuana or razor blades cost these days? There is a myth that Halloween is an quintessentially American holiday. Traditions focused on accumulation and consumption may seem very American, and certainly an American-style Halloween has evolved. But the origins of the holiday can be traced back to a pre-Christian Celtic festival called Samhain, strictly speaking pronounced Sarwen. For the Celts, November the 1st marked the end of the harvest and the beginning of the new year. They believed that the souls of the dead mingled among the living at the time, and so they associated the fruits of the harvest with the death, the afterlife and the supernatural. Later, after St. Patrick and other missionaries converted Ireland to Christianity, November the 1st became All Saints Day or All Hallows Day, and the eve of All Hallows became known as Halloween. It featured feasts, the blessing of the hearth, the lighting of candles and bonfires to welcome wandering souls. Few American settlers observed Halloween. It was Irish immigrants in the 19th century who were responsible for bringing Halloween customs to the United States. So Irish, not Americans. And if you think the Americans have gone too far with it, they're just taking the mick. A man was walking home alone one night when he hears a bump, bump, bump behind him. Walking faster, he looks back and makes out the image of an upright coffin banging its way down the streets towards him. Bump, bump, bump. Terrified, the man begins to run towards his home, the coffin bouncing quickly behind him, faster and faster, bump, bump, bump. He runs up to his door, fumbles with his keys, opens the door, rushes in, slams and locks the door behind him. However, the coffin crashes through the door, with the lid of the coffin clapping, clappity bump, clappity bump, clappity bump, on the heels of the terrified man. Rushing upstairs to the bathroom, the man locks himself in, his heart's pounding, his head is reeling, his breath coming in sobbing gasps. With a loud crash, the coffin breaks down the door, bumping and clapping towards him. The man screams, reaches behind him for something, anything, but all he can find is a box of cough drops. Desperate, he throws the cough drops at the coffin. And of course, the coffin stops. Here are the top three sounds that you're too old to go trick-or-treating. Number three, you get out of breath walking from door to door. Number two, People say, hey, that's a great Keith Richards mask, and you're not wearing a mask. And number one on the top three signs that you're too old to trick or treat, you avoid going to houses where your ex-wives live. A vampire bat came flapping into a cave from the night, covered in fresh blood, and parked himself on the roof of the cave to get some sleep. Pretty soon, all the other bats smelled the blood and began hassling him about where he got it. He told them to knock it off and let him get some sleep, but they persisted and finally he gave in. OK, follow me, he said, and flew out of the cave with hundreds of bats flying behind him eagerly. Down a valley they went, across a river and into a forest full of trees. Finally, he slowed down and all the other bats excitedly milled around him. Now, do you see that tree over there? He asked. Yes, 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 the bats all screamed in frenzy. Good, said the first bat, because I didn't. Here's a little poem to finish things off. It was Halloween night as I leapt from my bed, with thoughts of amusement alive in my head. Turned off my computer and thought as I may of vampires of old and those of today. Of spooky old movies and Halloween parties. Of course trick-or-treating, hope they don't hand out smarties. And witches and ghosts and wolfmen I fear. So that haunted old house I'll never go near. When you see spooky places just take my advice and don't go in rooms filled with ghosts, bats and mice. Don't risk your life going looking for spooks. Just go to a party with some good friendly kooks. 
Or gather your family, carve a pumpkin and think what to have your kids do and go pick up a drink. Play a joke on your friends, but mind how it looks, or else you may find yourself in bad books. Now put on that costume and dress yourself up. You can be a pirate or ghoul, a cat or a pup. But be very careful or else you might see that scary clowns now aren't really PC. So now you can think as you turn out that light that there's no such thing and that you are all right. Look under your bed though and then you might see nothing. We aren't afraid of ghosts now, are we? That's all for this week. Sleep safe. Sleep <laughs> safe.